Hey everyone, Dr. Kessler here, and uh, I just wanted to make a quick video, kind of discuss the uh, issue of wearing a mask and potential hypoxia or low oxygen, and uh, also uh, look at the uh, potential for uh, increasing your CO2, or what would be called as hypercapnia. Um, there is a lot of myths out there that if you wear a mask, you will reduce your oxygen and potentially uh, cause your CO2 levels to increase. So I am wearing a capnography monitor. Um, as you can see on the monitor, it's hooked up. Um, there is no oxygen on. Here's the end of the oxygen tubing and it's not on. Um, and I'm gonna start wearing a mask and you can see my oxygen levels as well as um, my CO2 levels and see how I do with wearing multiple surgical masks. So I'm gonna start with the uh, droplet precaution mask. This is a thicker mask than a standard surgical mask, but we'll start with this. This is what I've been wearing uh, for most patients, and then sometimes I'll put on an N95, depending on what's going on. And um, I got my pulse ox on. So here I am, breathing away, um, and everything seems to be doing fine, right? Um, the numbers of CO2 are not elevated, the oxygen levels are not dropping. Um, I'm going to put on a second mask. All right, second mask is on and just keep going. I'm gonna put on third mask. You can't really see my eyes, but I think this will work. Um, a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, oh, let's do that again. Okay. I think it's harder to get the mask on than to breathe with the mask on. I think I'm up to four or five. I'm doing this. I saw another guy do the video with the oxygen. Kind of hard to hear me, I think. A little bit more muffled. And I'm going to do the last one that I have here. Try to secure that down. Okay. Um, let's Now let's let the pulse oximeter read correctly. And the waveform is coming back up. And I'm still at 99%. And my end-huddle CO2 is sticking right where it needs to be. I'm going to keep this on for a little while. I'm at three minutes now on the video. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of time. Um, I think this is a very important video to get out there and let people realize that wearing masks do not make you hypercarbic or increase your CO2 levels to any dangerous level and uh, do not decrease your oxygen. Well, my heart rate's 104. I must be really excited to be making this video, uh, but my oxygen levels are still at 100%, and I uh, just wanted to reiterate, no oxygen on the mask that I'm wearing, and I think I have five or six surgical masks on and no issues with breathing. Yes, it is uncomfortable. I personally can't stand masks, um, never like them, but there's a need for them. And when there's a need, we do what we gotta do. Um, the purpose of the mask is to protect the next person around you. So when I cough, <coughs> not a lot of droplets spreading out. And if they do, they just kind of drop down. Um, if each of us wear a mask, we do our part in protecting the people around us, specifically in public spaces, in stores, um, or in closed quarters. So, I've been talking. It is now almost five minutes, and my oxygen saturation is at 100%. My entitled CO2 is at 30. The numbers are not creeping up. My CO2 is not rising. Um, I feel totally fine, although my ears are a little bit uncomfortable because I have so many straps around me. But y'all, what do you think? 
I don't think this is a problem. I think that we are doing what we got to do. And for all those people and videos out there that are saying that your CO2 is going to rise and your oxygen is going to drop, there you have it. Do you see anything? I don't. What do you say?